So I want you guys to remember one thing now. If you do your of course operation well, the dodge and burn will be sweet to do. Like now I look nice image and I know I won't take time doing dodge and burn. So the very next thing we're going to go to is we're going to do dodge and burn. There's a reason why I use this Marcin retouching uh, actions is because um he has the best dodge and burn preset I have ever used. And trust me, I have watched a lot of tutorials in my lifetime, in my short lifetime. Yeah, yeah, so it's not about how far you've gone or how long you've been in the business. It's, because it's what you can do within the little time that you've been learning. Yeah, so don't let anybody tell you I've been using five years to do this and I'm this, this, this. Uh, it's rubbish. So let's change the flow. Let's use the flow of two, two percent of our flow. And we're going to go into our video and we into our, video, into our picture and we're going to just be working on areas that are of excess to us so we're going to be brightening up some nice areas and darkening some areas that we don't want remember you don't, the dodge and burn doesn't have to be because it doesn't mean you have to burn in the same amount of places you burn it doesn't mean you have to make the same amount of dark places dark or like they don't have to be equal another thing you have to know is do it to the way you would like to see the image itself not based on what somebody else has said and it's not a must for you to always burn the light areas and dodge the dark areas you know sorry dodge the bright areas and burn the dark areas no that's rubbish do it to how you see it do it till the image is looking nice that's what we call micro dodge burn so i'm actually going to speed up this process itself because it might take time and you guys are not here to waste time so that's just what I'm going to do itself. So, um, that was a bit long, longer than I expected, but um, let's just group those layers together so that I can show you just what the before and after of the dodge and bone on our face looks like. So this is the dodge and bone that I've just finished. So this is the before, this is the before, this is the after, before, this is the after. You see it goes nice, it's very nice, it looks quite alright, it's like kind of thing that you guys want to get. So let me just show you one reason why I like this Martin retouch action. So it also has a desaturate layer for the dodge and a saturate layer for the bone because once you're pushing them, you do saturation and you gain saturation. So if you move it, you see, I don't know if you can, if you can see the colors, color change. The easier is the color change if you're using just only curve to but that, that's that, and now you know. So yeah. After we do that, we can also do it on her body itself. Um, and I guess I'll do that right now. Just give me. Let's just speed up this part of the video also. Okay, so you guys may be wondering what I'm doing right now. Is that I saw this area. And I didn't like how the texture of the skin was looking, so I'm just picking out layers and I'm just moving them itself into areas that are close by so that I can have a unified texture layer. That's basically what I'm doing in this situation right here. And I think I'm done with that. Um, so, back to dodge and So we are actually done. Let's look at this. Look at before, look at the after, look at the before, look at the after. Quite a much, quite a bit of difference. This is why we love doing dodge and burn. Because we always see the difference. You see, this is why I keep telling you guys, trust the process. Trust the process. Trust trust the process. So this is exactly what we've been looking for. Look at just look at how beautiful this image looks like. 